Hello everyone, welcome back for the next video in Subnautica, the game that just continues to just get better and better with every episode. And in this episode, I feel like the last couple have been very building oriented and very project oriented. In this episode, I wanna focus on exploration. If you're excited to go on this journey with me, do me a huge favor, smack the like button, we're diving right in. All right, we are back. Now, in the intro, I said I'm gonna focus on exploring in this episode, so I got two places in mind. One, I know Life Pod 2 is a place I've been needing to get back to to explore for quite a long time now. And two, when I went down to that deep Degacy base, there was that area that was like all greenish and stuff, but I never got to go back and explore deeper. So those are the two areas I'm at least planning on going to explore. We know I get distracted, so who knows what might happen. And I wanna see what the upgraded, in fact, I guess I could just bring this up here. Uh, there's a jetpack upgrade I can get for the prawn suit. And I want to see what it takes. I, I don't know if that's something I can kind of pull together real fast, but I've been basically told that makes a huge, huge... Oh. Okay. Nickel, titanium, and lithium, I've definitely come across. I could find those. But crystalline sulfur, I don't think I've found that one yet. So all the more reason to explore. Uh, you guys also gave me some awesome feedback about the prawn suit, about, you know, trying to use the, the grapple arm and stuff. And also, that there's storage right here in the back of this thing. Oh, this little thing right here. And then I could just keep the extra arms back here. And it sounds like I can swap. Can I swap that? Here, I'm gonna pull this stuff out. So I got those on me. Um, I think they said I could swap. No, no, no. I think I, I passed the upgrade. No, uh, uh. I think I saw it pop up for a second. Access upgrades. Yeah, yeah. So I could just swap the arms out while I'm running around, but this only shows one arm. What? I guess, oh, it's because I'm on that side. So that's the power cell. Okay, I guess that's just considered the normal arm. That's why it's not looked at as like an upgrade. Okay. So that was all fantastic information. So that's what we're going to work on. Uh, grapple. Uh, grapple. I'm trying to get the hang of this. Yeah, so it sounds like uh, the idea behind this is like you use your, your jetpack and then you can grapple to kind of... Whoa, went right through that guy. And you can use the, the, the jetpacks to kind of like, or it gives the jetpacks a chance to uh, recharge while you're like swinging through the arms. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> uh. oh. I don't know where he blew up, but uh, I'm taking that since I'm here. Okay. I think I could just jump right out here. Nice. Oh, come on. Oh, no, I'm stuck. Maybe I can go out this way. Uh, grab and jet at the same time. Let go. Oh, yeah, baby. Look at that. I flung my way right. Oh, boy. Iron Man's got some ups, man. Okay, now, where am I going? I got all twisted around there. There's Zeus. Where is... Okay, there's the beast. So we're gonna focus on exploring. We're gonna, I'm gonna leave the sea moth behind because I feel like this will force me to practice getting better with the, the prawn suit, which is what I really want. And I can go up to 1300 meters with this bad boy. Now, I did have you guys also mention that the, the, um, Drill arm is really good because you can actually use that as protection also. So I want to make sure that's equipped when I'm exploring. Ooh, did it. First try. First try. Jumping like a pro. Okay, I think I put that drill arm right here, didn't I? Okay, so we'll go ahead and pull this out. Um, man, I haven't thought about food and water in so long, I feel like. We'll go ahead and do that. How's my plants coming along? Now we got, do I got anything I can just straight up eat yet? It's at 65. 
Now, if I... Oh, I'm going to need to put a locker. Because I, I can only pull out one of those, right? I know I can slice it to get four seeds. But if I plant four of these things, don't I only get to pull out one plant? Let's test it on this one. Oh no, there are four in there. Okay, well that's... Well, that's good to know. I was gonna say, there for a second, I was like, that don't make no sense. Okay, so let's slice this last one. It looks like I ran out of room. Is there two left? Okay, good. All right, let's eat that. Slice you. Maybe. Oh. Uh. Oh. I can't get an angle on it. Maybe this wasn't such a good spot. There we go. <laughs> I need to pick the ones in the back, slice the ones in the front. I think that's my future plan there. Okay. Now, let's store this. Oh, I like my little kitty picture. Let's go down. You guys told me that the lights don't drain energy on this thing. Oh, and someone else mentioned, they said, you know, they just kind of picture my character slam dunking the resources into this thing now since it's so high. I thought that was pretty funny. All right, let's convert this. Oh, man. I could easily spend a whole episode of just, like, cleaning up my lockers, I feel like, and just kind of getting things in a way they they need to be but that's not the purpose of this episode but i am going to name this one i think i spelled that right so at least there's something organized here right we'll just stick all this stuff in here this one's not organized just that one okay now i could use a new battery for the laser cutter so we'll grab a we'll swap out those two batteries put two in the charger I'll grab some more water, burst aid, and I think my plan is to drive the beast to wherever it is we're going and then drop out and explore with the prawn suit. That's the plan. And I want to do life pod two first. I feel like that's the one you guys mentioned. My goodness, it probably six, seven episodes ago now that that was a pod I needed to go back to. And... Wait a minute, did I mark the right one? There's number two. And I don't, I don't know if I've been back to that at all yet. It's been on my to-do list for quite a while. So the plan is go there first, and then we'll check out the Degacy. And you know what? I'm going to leave the prawn suit here. I don't think I need to do anything with that. We'll swim over there, grab our stuff, Swap out. Oh, I think I distracted myself, but you guys mentioned I can leave the lights on in the beast and it does not drain the battery, so that was kind of cool to know. You guys had some fantastic Welcome tips for me. Board, Captain. And have we seen what, uh... Did that egg hatch yet? Oh! That's what hatched in there? I don't even think... Well, there were some of those swimming around. You know what? You guys mentioned that I can use them for food. No, I'm not going to get distracted. Not going to get distracted. But all I got to do is have multiple of the same fish in there, and they could breed, and I can actually have, you know, a consistent source of food just right there. That might be something to come back to. Oh, here they are. You know what? Let's go ahead and throw them in there. I didn't expect to find those so easily, but I'm not going to... I, what I was about to get distracted with is I was like, ooh, I could build this up. You guys mentioned I can I can stack them and be able to fit more. So we're going to do that. There you go. Crab squid, if you want to eat something, you can play around with those things. Okay. Um, I don't think... I think all I need is going to be right in here. How these do? Oh, beautiful. All right, we're going to take two of these. You know what? I got three things that need a battery. Let's go ahead and switch them all. All right. You guys also did tell me there is a charger like this for the big one, the power cells, but I have not found the blueprint to that yet. So I need to find that. Maybe we'll get lucky and we'll find it while we're out and about now. Go ahead and eat a couple of those. You know what? We'll get a couple more. 
There we are. How's this thing looking? I think this thing's probably still just fine. Yeah, we'll go ahead and just so the plant can make some more. We'll stick a couple of those in there. Grab our water. We'll leave the salt because we don't need that. And we'll grab a couple of these. And I'm going to put a couple on the Cyclops in case that, you know, I end up running into something really bad and, and this way I could have some extras on there in case I need them. I can't think of anything else. Sometimes I get myself distracted when I'm like talking and doing stuff really fast, but I think that was all I needed to do. Get med kits, food I'll just get. I, I, I don't have to worry about that. I might slice a couple things right out here just because it's easy to find. And you know what? I'll go ahead and bring the habitat builder. I, I'll just leave it on the base if I don't need it. Do I have any equipment in here I should bring? Oh, flares. Somebody mentioned flares. Oh, and the creature decoys. I'm so glad I looked at this. So these apparently I can put right inside the, the beast and these are the decoys that I can launch out of there. That's pretty awesome. And then a couple flares I can throw down around wreckages that I'm done exploring. I got a purple tablet on me. I think just having one's gonna be plenty. Did I even have any more? No, I think I grabbed them all. So if I have a couple more, they're probably on the beast already. All right, it was nice to visit home. Home sweet home. You know, I'm. it's gonna be hard to, it's gonna take a lot of work to build a base that feels more like home than that one. Just because, you know, that's been with me from the beginning. So it's it's gonna take a bit of work. All right, I'm gonna put these in here. I wanna get, um, let's see. That's a titanium one. This one's a mess. I was trying to see if there's one. Oh, that's titanium also. Let's change that. There we go. Do I got one that's kind of empty? I know I had a couple that were... Oh, here's an extra tablet. Here, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna turn this one into my, my like, aid and equipment one for now. Okay, where's the habitat builder? Uh, there you go. I'll just label it equipment. Whoop. There we go. Get a little bit of organization going on. Just throw these in here. Okay, flares, extra arm, aid. I think I'm good. And now I wanna see if I can load one of these creature decoy things. I think it's back, right here. Let's do this. Yo! <laughs> I kind of want to launch one just so I can see what it looks like. I wonder if there's like a, a little animation or something I can see it happen. Yo, you've gotten bigger already. Okay. Anything else? I don't need both these creature decoys on me, so I will store the other one in my equipment. Okay, I think I'm set, with the exception of food, but I can kind of get that on the fly. All right, where is number two? That's 12. I highlighted it yellow. 12. Man, I, I know what you guys mean when you say that. There it is, number two. Sometimes you can end up with a bunch of stuff on the map. In fact, I could probably turn off a few of these things. I know I'm not going to need for a while. Um, scanner base. I'll turn that one off. Another shipwreck. I feel like that's definitely one I need to get back to because I don't think I've explored that one yet. Uh, Beacon 1, I think, was the entrance to that moon pool for the aliens, but I don't need that right now. I'm going to leave 12 on because I already had 12 on. Might be a reason for that. I'm thinking that was one that I've been meaning to get back to also. And we will turn these off. I got to think about it. I almost could have just left the camera drone turned on there for that other base. And I would be able to use that instead of having to have a beacon on the map for it. Okay. I like what we got here. And I'm going to go ahead and turn off Zeus too. Since Zeus is kind of getting left behind for this next little bit. No point in having that. And let's save our game. And let's power up. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, 
78. That's not horrible. Okay, normal. Yep, let's go up first. I feel like I, I, oh yeah, I went down because of uh, because of Iron Man. Ooh. Let's see. Uh, wh where's the cameras? I can change. Use this to. Okay, it looks like I'm clear on all sides. I could remember there was like a big rock or something next to me right there. Okay. That one's 12. That's two. That's the one we want. I want to go down a little bit so I can see under the water. Man, I I don't know about you guys, but this new thing where I'm like trying to stick to just four games instead of, I think I had seven games going at one time. If you include the puzzle game that I had going, not to mention my Dofu's channel, I still post there once in a while. So I guess kind of like eight games going. I was like, man. I am working so hard and making so slow progress on all the games because I just had so many going. Now that I've dropped down to just four active games, I feel like I'm getting to replay the game so much faster. I don't know if you guys feel it on your end yet, but me, when it just comes to like recording and stuff, I'm like, oh my gosh, I get to play this one again already? I feel like I just played this one. It's nice. I'm liking it. Okay, let's start going down. Look at these guys. I'm honking for you guys. I'm not going to ram them, though. Something tells me they would win. Got to go down. 500 meters down. So this one's not, like, crazy deep. I can't... I, I'm, I'm surprised that I didn't actually explore it more already. Ooh, there we go. We got some music kicking in. I was just thinking, I was like, man, we haven't had any music here for a bit. All right, I see that wreckage, but I, I'm... Oh! I think that was a fish. <laughs> How do you repair this thing? Do you just get out with your little uh, repair tool to do it with this thing as well, or is there a slightly different process? Yo, this is beautiful, just driving and looking like this. Oh my goodness. Ooh, that's a big rock of sorts oh what I was gonna say though is I think over there that wreckage I think that's actually where I was finding some of the Cyclops pieces so I think I've explored that area this is wild it's like I'm commanding the Enterprise or something that reminds me somebody actually did tell me that one of the names they would use uh, was like the the USS Enterprise or something to that effect for their their name of their Cyclops. I was like, oh, that's a great idea. Star Trek? Okay. Wow, it's supposed to be... We're gonna have a big... Oh, I remember this area now. Wow, no, I didn't spend much time over here. It's hard to believe that that is still... Oh, I wish I could see how deep I was right here. This is definitely the lowest I've gone, deepest I've gone with the Cyclops. That makes it <laughs> makes me a little nervous. But I don't, I don't want to go down too far with the prawn suit without having uh, knowing I've got some ground underneath me where I'll be able to jump back up. I think we're just about to a good spot here. I wish I could I could side like sideways. <laughs> that would be awesome. Wow, look at that. Oh man, there's some resources I need right here too. I should totally set up a scanner base here before I, I would get out. Like, before I leave. I got a feeling there's definitely some resources that I'm going to need from here. This might actually even be where I found the nickel. Oh, I see warpers. Alright, I'm going to come over here. This would be a nice area to kind of drop drop out with I think with um, Iron Man and then still be able to get through oh uh, there we go I'm gonna make sure I'm not gonna back into something okay yeah that should work power down baby Engine powering down look at that 2% I did good 
Honk for Joy. Announced to everybody that I'm here. Okay, food and my water's a little low. Let's see, is this pickable yet? I feel like I just planted these. Yo, <laughs> nice. Wow, those actually came back kind of quick. All right, oops. Well, we shall plant fresh ones. Okay, oh my gosh, I'm actually kind of nervous. My first voyage is jumping out here with the, the prawn suit in an area that I haven't been to in like forever. Which reminds me, I didn't put on the drill arm. Yo. <laughs> Biter. Uh-huh. Grapple you. I'll spear you. Okay. Let's hop out and swap that before I forget. Uh, I think this is the upgrades. There we go. Yeah, that's impressive. I can just like carry that right in my pocket. There we go. Now we got the drill. Can a warper pull me out of this? Hey, I think I hit it. Yeah, back up. I can fight now. Iron Man, baby. Okay. I'm gonna try not to get too distracted. I'm gonna try to pick up stuff that I know that I need. You know what? I don't think I have any of this. I'm gonna grab a load. We're gonna grab these. I'm gonna get some of these little blood things over here. Cause I know I need those for, I think, benzene? Yeah, is that a, is that a cave I'm seeing right there? Oh yeah, we're gonna grab all this. And we'll just run it right back into the, the beast. So I'm not like, that way I'm not just continually seeing this stuff on the, on the venture and trying to go grab it. In fact, man, it's tempting to grab a couple loads. It's all like right here. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you. Awesome. Okay, I was thinking what well, that's equipment. I thought there was one of these that was like empty. Nope, I managed to stick stuff in just about all these. All right, let's pull you out of there. I will not find you for sure. Extra battery. And we'll pull out that titanium so I can stick that in there. I'm just going to label this one blood. <laughs> so I know that's got those in it. Let's come over here. Stick that there. Oh, too many. And the mushrooms. Mm. There was one of these that had some mushrooms in already. Uh, that doesn't actually have much room. Here we go. I mean, this is messy. But it's a little better, you know, it's got some kind of organization to it. All right, and since I'm not planning on using this right now, I'm just going to stick that in here. Should I, nah, I'm not going to keep the extra battery. I mean, I just swapped out the charge on everything. Okay, that's good. Let's go hop back in Iron Man. Where's he at? There he is. I almost need to change his little color too, so he's a little easier to spot. Inside. Okay. That's done for the moment. Let's jump off this ledge. Is there a... Uh, does this thing have like a light? Or is, is that what I'm seeing? Is there a little bit of light already coming out on this thing? Oh, I need to be grappling. Oh boy, here we go, guys. Big jump. Oh my gosh, I am freaking out. This is... Oh, what? Look how deep that goes. Oh my gosh. I'm a little bit terrified at the moment. I'm nervous. I'm going to come down here and not know how to get back out. Can I grapple, like, down? Like, pull myself faster? Oh, I can. That's cool. I'm getting awfully... Oh, what in the world? What is this? Whoa. 
it's beautiful and a little scary at the same time. Um. Oh, too far. Okay. Have I seen that thing before? I don't see my little scanner symbol popping up. Oh my goodness. Well, that's the biter. <laughs> he likes getting real close because he knows he looks bigger. Check those things out. I think I've seen those before. Have I, have I seen those? Ooh. Can I drill that? My very, drill gold? My very first time? Oh my gosh. That's amazing. That's awesome too. It looks like it just like, did it just pick it right up for me? Gold added to vehicle storage. I just realized too, this thing has like a battery to it, don't it? Oh no. I don't know, would this thing defend against a, a ghost if I try to drill at it? Oh, I was going to try to explore this way, but that makes me nervous. Okay, let's go this way. It's like he didn't like me uh, drilling, I think. Look at that. That was a good move right there. I did a good grapple. Man, this thing is huge. I wonder if it's safe to get into the green stuff. I know I couldn't touch it when I was like outside of my suit, but I wonder if I'm okay to touch it inside of this. Okay, let's check. Yo, look at that. That is wild. Okay, well, you leave me alone. I'll leave you alone, Mr. Mr. Ghost Leviathan. Can I still, uh... Can I? Hey, look at that. I can. But I can't pick it up. I gotta get out to pick it up. What is it? Silver? Oh my gosh. This is a little terrifying. I am, like, surrounded by stuff. Have I scanned one of these? I think I've scanned these things before, but... Double checking. Okay, no scanner on you. You look mean. Oh! <laughs> he is mean, but apparently I have scanned it. Inside. Back up. Back up. <laughs> That's alright. Get away. Oh my gosh. It looks like it goes down deeper over here. No, not gonna use this on titanium right now. Okay. Let's keep going. Oh no, I'm stuck. Up oh, there we are. That Leviathan's got me terrified. I don't know how aggressive he's gonna be. Let's go this way. What's that one? That's titanium. Yo, this thing's huge. Uh. <laughs> it is kind of nice having like a, a form of defense. This is wild, just walking around down here. I'm at 93%. I, I do need to be mindful of... Uh... Oh, there's some magnetite. I could totally pick that up. My goodness. This place is humongous. All right, let's go this way. Kind of going around where that big old ghost leviathan was. Ooh, what's this? It looks, oh, is that a diamond? I think that's a diamond. All right, I'm gonna try to snag. Diamond and ruby. Nice. Nice and quick, baby. That's how we gotta do it sometimes. Okay, that looks like it's a uh, dead end. Okay. Let's 
going around this corner this way then. I haven't yet. You know what? Let's walk through this. See if it, see if it hurts me. Nope. Okay. I can walk in this. My. Are you staying up there, dude? Are we good? This looks a little different. Silver? I don't think I'm really hurting for silver, but I'll get a, I'll get a little bit of this. Man, you get a, you, you can get quite a bit out of these little rocks. Like there's two. Oh, nice. So I can just like walk. Off me. I can walk on those things to pick them up. Okay, if that's an option, that's kind of nice. Look at here, nickel. Now this I definitely need. Where's Mr. Leviathan at? Okay, he's over there. Nickel I need because I don't have any extra nickel right now. It's each time I start drilling is when that thing starts to like freak out a little bit. Almost makes me think that he like knows when I'm doing this. Or maybe I'm just like timing it just right each time. My goodness, that is amazing. All right, I'm filling up the vehicle storage. Man, I'm getting a big load of nickel. Okay, where's he at? He's over there. Oh, he's kind of swimming this. Oh. Oh, no. You stay away, dude. Wow, this thing is like... Not letting go. Okay. Killed it. Oh, man. I'm scared to move. That is beautiful, though. I wanted to see how much storage I had left. Oh, no. Oh. He's still chasing me. Oh, no, I missed. Oh, come on. Okay. Oh, man. Okay, that was pretty awesome, though, the way I was able to get away like that. I couldn't have done that in the sea moth. Okay, I want to check. See how much room I have. I was going to do it over there just because I finally got rid of that spider. I want to try something. Okay, now walk on it. Okay, it, it only automatically stores it when I'm drilling, it looks like. Alright, good to know. Oh, wow, does it go deeper over here? Oh, that looks like it goes way down. Okay, what kind of room, what kind of room do I got left here? Uh, oh, I still got quite a bit in there. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and pull some of this out, too. Just free up space. <laughs> Oh. Well, All right. Aboard, Captain. Hey, thanks. Speaking of that, let's uh, use one of those. I don't have any food on me. Oh, I might regret this, but I'm going to do it anyways. Charge! I sure hope I can get up out of this thing. 600, 700, 800. I am 800 meters down, guys. I've never been this deep. What's this? Lead? You get away. Oh, and it's still going down. Let's keep going, baby. I mean, we're committed now, right? Oh. I think you're friendly. I'm not going to do anything with you. Unless you start something. Oh my gosh, this is wild. We got some thermal vents here. I don't know how I'm going to get all the way back up to... Uh, up to my my Cyclops. I think I see something new over here. I get hung up on these little spongy things. What are these? That's new. Oh. 
Is there a vent right by me? Oh, I can't scan it. Oh, it just says, maybe it just looks different. Because I'm so far down. It's green though. Oh. Uh, I think I see some alien tech over here. Look at here, gold. No, I'm not going to grab more gold right now. Whoa. Oh, 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 oh. Whew. Almost fell off the ledge there. What? Oh my gosh, that thing looks like it's sleeping. Is that a is that a paw? Is that something that's alive or dead? Oh, I think I see bones. That may be dead. Oh, I gotta go see it. I gotta see it. If it's not dead, I'm gonna freak out here in a second. What in the world is this? You know, I'm a little nervous to know that something killed this. <laughs> and there is something big over there. Can I scan? I can scan this. Levi Leviathan skeletal remains. Oh, sea dragon. Anything else to scan since I'm out? Doesn't look like it. Oh man. I gotta keep going. This is just too cool to stop. I said I was gonna explore in this video, right? <laughs> I feel like I'm already living up to that. Uh, I'm not gonna... It's like I don't want to waste power and storage on titanium. Just because I feel like that's something I can kind of get a get pretty easily without being all the way down here. I want to save my space for things that I don't think I can get very easily. Whoa. You coming here, dude? You want to play? I'll pet you. I'll pet you. Yo, I had somebody mention something called a tree of life. They said you'll know it when you see it. I'm going to guess. <laughs> Gosh. Beautiful! Okay. Alright. I'm gonna... I'm gonna see if there's like a resource over here I can get. That, oh, and there's like a cave back behind it. Anybody else having like avatar vibes at the moment? <laughs> That's amazing. I'm assuming I can scan this thing. Can I scan it? Giant Cove Tree. I'm at 912 meters down. You know what's pretty amazing to even think about? I'm 900 meters down. Currently this thing can go to 1300 meters and there's still another upgrade to go even deeper. Means I still haven't found the bottom of where you can go in this game. That's amazing. Let's check out those two, uh, two new scans we got. <laughs> there's a deceased category. It's the first item I found there. I wonder if there's gonna be more I can find. You know, there was one I think it was during the, the Degacy down there. There were some bones. I didn't even think to go over there and try to scan them. I didn't realize that would be a thing that you could do. Sea Dragon Skeleton. The semi-intact skeletal structure of the Leviathan-class predator. Head trauma. There is clear evidence of a massive physical trauma to the head. The damage is so severe, it was likely the cause of death. and must have occurred somewhere nearby. Ooh. Damage is consistent with a high-speed collision with a solid object? I mean, with the alien technology, could they have ships or something under here? Like fast-moving subs or something? Or a straight-up rocket, maybe? Something in environment has helped to preserve these remains, but calcium decay suggests an approximate time of death 1,000 years ago. Bone growth suggests the creature was in the egg-laying stage of its cycle. Beautiful. 
means there might be more. Doesn't that just sound great? The giant cove tree. Oh, the tree actually has uh, no threat level. That's well, that's good to see because I got really close. A vast tree encountered in a deep cove and the only one of its kind encountered on the planet. The tree is surrounded by rays grazing on its pink outer leaves. Ooh, I need to go up there and see if there's something I can collect. Bark. A hardy, fast-growing bark covers the outside of the tree. Minuscule organisms inhabit the notches in its surface. Ghost leviathan eggs? What? The tree's branches are wrapped around a number of maturing eggs belonging to the species designated Ghost Leviathan. <laughs> oh man, this tree appears to be an ancient nesting ground. The eggs were laid when the tree was young, and now the branches protect and grow with them as they await the right conditions to hatch. What? Okay, let's come over here and see if we can snag and or scan anything. I'm what, that must be it right there. That's wild to think about. You know, eggs, I've had a couple encounters with your, uh... oh my goodness. That is wild. Absolutely wild. I don't see anything else down here that looks different, like collectible wise. This plant here, I'm pretty sure we've seen that before. Yo, Iron Man, you've been awesome already. Taking me to areas I ain't seen at all. All right, we're gonna come across. Oh, I missed. Okay, I still made the jump. I wanna see what's on down this way. I'm gonna get myself lost. At this point, I'm probably just gonna count on dying somewhere along the way, and that's how I find my, that's how I find my, uh, either my base, or my Cyclops again. Yo, this is huge. Okay, Iron Man. How brave you feeling, buddy? Jarvis, you're here, right? I don't know. Part of me thinks this is really stupid. And then the other part of me is just like, keep going. You know what? I need some food. And this is kind of the first recognizable food I've seen. Okay, is there... I thought I saw two. Oh, there you are. Come here. i going to eat you. And you know what? I need some of the... Although I do have a... I do have at my base some of those growing. So I guess it's not too big of a deal that I grab those. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you, thank you. All right, let's eat that and that. That helps. Oh, I could actually eat. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and eat that one. All right, that helped. Any more? Are there any others? If there's one more, oh, right there. Let's go get this guy. Boom. All right, that should put me in really good shape. Cause I don't know how if we go deeper if I'm gonna have like no food access. There, that's much better. Cause I ain't done, I ain't done exploring. Oh my gosh. It's still going down. What in the world? Okay, what we got here? It looks like titanium, yep. I wonder if I need to like go through I feel like I'm seeing a bottom on those so I don't feel like I don't think going through that's going to take me somewhere but I, I want to see anything down here ooh magnetite I need those and that was an easy grab what we got here oh I thought it was a creature egg Okay, let's grab that one. You know what I just realized is I'm in the green stuff swimming around and it's not hurting me. I wonder if it's just the layer, like that gaseous layer that's on top. I wonder if that's what I'm not allowed to touch. That once I'm under it, I'm okay. Okay, I think this is the side I came in on. It looked like it went down deeper on the other side of this little pit. I wanna go check. Yo, dude, how you doing? 
What we got here? It looks a little bit lithium. I can use some lithium. Wow. Now what I just got to hope is that I don't die and that I can find my way back. Otherwise, all this stuff that I'm collecting, all for nothing. Man, you guys are right. You really drilling these things. I thought I was just going to get, like, a group of four of any item. Like, I just crush it and I get four items. But, man, there's a ton in those. I don't know if I really have much of these green things. Okay, I'm going to grab a few of those, too. All right. Oh, I grabbed that ruby if I could. Oop. Uh. Whoop. Oh, I had it. Grab it. Ooh. Whoop. Okay. Let's look over this ledge. I may not drop down here. Because I'm at a thousand. And I don't know if I have the modules needed to get to whatever this next level down is going to be. Oh, I see something new. What is that? That creature. I don't recognize that one either. I mean, it looks like one of those little eye eye things, but it's green. Oh, it's coming this way. All right. You got you got teeth on the front of you, dude. You don't look like you're going to be friendly. Yeah, I thought so. Is it damaging me? I'm going to see if I can scan it. And then I'm going to slice it off there. Indigenous? <laughs> I don't know if it was damaging my, uh, my Iron Man. I didn't want to take no chances. Oh, man. Okay. I gotta be able to get back up. And I'm a little nervous. You know what? In fact, let's go ahead and repair you before we go any further. Might be something down there grab me. Who knows? Banzai! Ooh, it looks hot. Oh, I might need to, I might not be able to get out now. Yo, the music and everything changed. Wow, there's warpers down here. I think I'm gonna need to get that heat resistant. I don't think I can get out here and swim around. I mean, I guess I could hop out and check, but... All right, what's inside of here? Anything new I can collect? What is your, your gold? I was really hoping to find at least one resource that was new. Oh, Uranite. I think this is new. This is one of those things I've been needing, isn't it? Um, wait a minute. Is this the, that's the Uranite. What does that convert into? Oh, I suddenly do not feel very safe right here. It's amazing how much the atmosphere changed when we entered this little area. Let's get just a couple more of these. Okay. All right, we, let's see if we can start working our way back up. <laughs> yeah, we're real close to the one hour mark anyways. Let's see if we could, this is gonna be a challenge for me, I'm sure. Oh, I missed... I missed the connection. Oh, oh, come on. There we are. Oh, keep going, keep going. Grab. No, not there. Oh, I can jet now, though. That's good. Grab that. Grab that. Oh. All right, I'll let him charge back up. My jets are gone. I do like somebody, I had a couple people mention actually, you can just hang on with the grapple and allow your jets to recharge. So glad you said that. Otherwise right now I'd be like, I am stuck. 
Come on, you can do it, you can do it. Yeah, Iron Man. We need to get you those better jets. I gotta find that resource though for that crystalline thing. I was really hoping to encounter some really new uh, element down here, but it doesn't look like I've landed that. Okay. Ooh, keep going. Almost. Yeah. Oh, man. We got a long ways to go, though. That music's kind of freaky. Makes me think something's coming. You know what? I didn't go over here and actually check out this. I kind of assumed it was another one of, like, just a smaller version of what was over there. See if it'll let me scan it if it's something different. Um, what happens if I hit it with a knife? Do I get any bark or anything? Nope. Okay. I was a little nervous something might get mad at me and start attacking me. Oh my gosh, that music is just so freaky. Okay, that's the direction. I, this is the direction I need to go. Oh, man. Well, if I wanted practice using my grappling hook and using my... Uh... Oh, I thought that was a creature egg. Using my Iron Man, I definitely found a good way to get that practice. I see a ruby over there. I'm kind of walking around a little bit. Let's see if I come across any new materials as I'm kind of going back this way there's the tree of life well I'm calling the tree of life because that's I, I heard of a tree of life I don't know if that's actually the one you guys are referring to or not but it sure looks big and important to me we got here that's more titanium okay now this is around 900 meters down, so that means if I wanted to, I could try to navigate my Cyclops all the way down to this point and then drop out of Iron Man from there, which would, you know, make for a much closer, you know, back and forth. Something to consider, I guess. I'll have to try to see how dangerous it is trying to get back up here. I cannot get up over that ledge. Give it a second. There we go. There we are. Okay, and then here's gonna be the real tricky one. Looks like it's slightly lower on this side. And... Grapple! Oh, yeah, baby! Like a pro! Oh, <laughs> this is so cool. Okay, we did see the alien tech over here. And we did not go check that out. So, before we see if we can find our way out of here. Oh! I thought it was going to get pulled straight up there. Okay, we're going to see if we can uh, get a closer look at this thing. Got hit by a high impact something or another in the head. I believe is what it said. I don't know if my little Iron Man could survive an attack. Something able to knock, you know, knock the wind out of that thing. All right, here we go. Jump. We're flying. Oh, it goes back a ways. Okay, well, so far so good. I haven't, like, gotten myself lost. I kind of still know where I'm at. Oh, I thought that was another bone at first. I think that might be like a cable or a wire. Wonder if there's like another teleport pad. Oh my gosh. We just found a whole nother underground facility. What could be inside of this one? Oh, 
man. I can't go back yet. I can't go back yet. I gotta, I gotta do some more exploring. This alien structure appears to have collapsed to the sea floor. Oh, well, thank you. So it used to be up a lot higher is what she's getting at. Oh, I see more, uh, I don't, none of this looks like stuff I could necessarily scan. These tooths though, and these bones maybe. Oh, that warper right there, I'm scared to hop out of this thing. I'm a little nervous about all these bones we're finding. Oh, I see another. Looks like almost like entry point. We're going in. We are going in, baby. Oh, no, no. <laughs> I had you. You ain't gonna ditch me like that. Oh, come on, Jet. Detecting an alien broadcast. Linguistic analysis reads, Caution, hazardous materials and life forms contained within. You guys know me. That ain't gonna stop me from going in here. Well, maybe this plant will. Well, come on. Oh no, am I stuck? I mean, I could hop out and swim, obviously, but that doesn't get me unstuck. If I hop back in it. Oh, come on. Look at that. Access upgrades. Can I, is there a push? Oh, I bet if I had my propulsion cannon. Maybe. Oh, come on. I know this isn't how it's like. Grapple onto something. Pull myself out. Oh, no. This is terrible, guys. I can swim out. But he is like. He's like stuck, stuck. Now what I'm wondering is if I use, I know they have this new unstuck feature. If I use that, will I bring the Iron Man suit with me or will it get left behind? Oh look, there's an ion cube too. Gosh. <laughs> He's like wedged in there. Okay, well, since we're stuck here anyways, shall we explore a little bit? Drink some water. Interior walls in this section are substantially reinforced, indicating the designers were seeking either to keep something out or contain it within. Whatever oh. their intention, it clearly failed. Oh. Come here, fish. Don't get me eaten. Oh, wow. Okay. I thought there was another... Another fish. There he is. Come here. I need food. It clearly failed. Oh man, I hate the fact. Oh. Let's put that in. I hate the fact that Iron Man's stuck over there. Ooh. A green tablet? Specimens research. New PDA data. Okay. Grab you. Okay, let's go take a look at that data. In the safety of Iron Man. He even looks all funny. He's all cockeyed and stuff. Oh, man. I hope you guys got some kind of a trick for me on getting him unstuck from there. Like I said, I could try the propulsion cannon or repulsion cannon. I think I keep calling it propulsion cannon. And I think you guys have told me it's repulsion cannon. Let me see. I, just, I want to call it the right thing. No, that one is propulsion cannon. Okay. I must be thinking of something different. All right. Alien data. Let's see what it says. 
a catalog of information on the organisms previously contained within the alien facility. A number of entries have been translated. Small herbivore gamma. This entry seems to reference the common peeper. Shows no immunity to infection. Death commonly occurs within four days. Oh, wow, there are a lot of those considering they only live four days. Unless they're talking about with the infection, they only live four days. Shows symptom remission on exposure to enzyme 42, but symptoms quickly recur. Shows advanced learning behaviors. Shows some capacity to transmit enzymes to other specimens. Leviathan embryos. Adult specimens too large to study in containment. Egg specimens acquired from nesting site. Embryos show no sign of immunity. Death commonly occurs within three weeks. Small sample of eggs has been retained for continued high priority research on Leviathan hatching mechanisms. All right, large carnivore theta. Off-site lab established to study remains. Shows some potential for immunity to infection, but physical remains so far proved insufficient for full reconstruction. Oh my goodness, unidentified leviathan. This leviathan species has been assigned designation C. emperor. Bone samples from emperor specimens indicate some potential for Kara immunity. Single specimen captured for study at purpose-built containment facility. Constructed in volcanic region at a depth of 1.4 kilometers. I bet that's about where I was getting to over there. Assessment. While it is unlikely that the emperor specimen is still contained within the facility described, it may be possible to acquire further data there on the alien's attempt to develop a vaccine. Hey, can you teleport me out of this little spot? Oh, that's still, that is still just horrible that I am stuck, stuck. And I can't even like grapple my way out. Oh, come on, come on. Okay, let's see what the other ones were. Here we go. Oh yeah, lava larva. A grub-like specimen which appears to lack sight and smell, but is able to sense and drain thermal and electrical energy in its immediate environment. Boy, that thing came to me from a long ways away too. Suction cup, capable of attaching to smooth surfaces and generating high pressure suction. Will release if it's will release if it comes under sufficient strain. Torso, thick scales protect from extreme temperatures. The lava larva lacks a traditional <laughs> lava larva lacks. The lava larva lacks a traditional digestive system. Instead it powers its internal processes directly from the energy it consumes. Behavior, attracted to energy sources of all kinds, draws energy from its prey to survive. Avoid when piloting vehicle, remove to conserve batteries. I'm glad I did that. Like I said, it looked like it was uh, gonna suck something out of me there. Okay, well, I think I'm gonna have to try to... We're gonna, we're gonna try to do the reload thing. I hope this brings not just me, but brings Iron Man with me. <sighs> Fingers crossed. No! <laughs> Iron Man! He's still stuck! Come on, push! Push! Ah! Uh, I... Come on. Uh, come on, wiggle, wiggle. Come on, dance. Dance for me, Iron Man. Yes! Whoa! <laughs> you know, that's the. I am going to go back in there right now. We got free. Oh. Pro tip if you get stuck, shake what your mama gave you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so glad I was able to get out of there. Well, that's where we're going to conclude this episode. I think I've done a good job of exploring like I wanted to do, but we're not done. Until next time, continue to be safe out there, and I will see you on the next one.